Hi, my name is Roxy Monroe, and I write and illustrate nonfiction informational books for children. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a new book that just came out called Lizards at Large, published by Holiday House. 21 Remarkable Reptiles at Their Actual Size. I'm going to read a little of the introduction, and then we're going to look at some of the original art and also how the cover was created. So... In the introduction, I talk about the fact that since the beginning of recorded history, human beings have been fascinated by lizards. Motifs are found throughout the world, from China to Turkey, from Italy to Scandinavia, from Australia to the Americas. They've been called serpents, dragons, devils, monsters, and dinosaurs. They appear in mythology, religious, and other texts decorations, in architecture and art all over the world. So all, rep all lizards are reptiles, but re all reptiles are not lizards. For example, snakes, um, turtles, crocodiles are not lizards, but they are reptiles. Lizards are cold-blooded. Unlike human beings who have to um, eat to generate heat to keep ourselves warm, Lizards have to go out in the sun and let the sun warm them up or go under and then to cool off, they have to go underground or in the shade. So they're dependent upon their environment to keep them warm or cold. Lizards shouldn't be confused with amphibians either. Amphibians are frogs and salamanders and newts, which can look like lizards, but are not actually lizards. Almost all lizards are harmless. Many are helpful. They help control pesky bugs and ants. And research into their clinging feet, we'll talk about in a few minutes, have led to new kinds of bandages people have invented. And their venom may help scientists understand blood clotting and develop new drugs to work with humans. So lizards have been around even longer than the dinosaurs. They've been around over 300 million years. So let's look at how this book is laid out. So first we have the introduction. Then we start off with the small lizards and build up to big lizards. So here's the way the pages work and they all have fun facts about them. Here's a little armadillo girdle lizard, wraps the tail around it to protect this little soft tummy. Here are the other lizards. So this is basically the way the book works. We're gonna look again at the leopard lizard. Jackson's chameleons, chameleons, which is also our cover, are fascinating. You'll notice their eyes, unlike our eyes, they can point one over here and one up here, or one down here and one looking this way. You see how their eyes are? So chameleons are very kind. And they have these huge long tongues I'll show you in a few minutes. And so the lizards are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Woo! And this guy, the Australian frilled lizard, he looks really scary. But you know he's just a vegetarian. He doesn't eat meat. Unlike this guy, the Gila monster, who does eat meat and little animals and little rabbits and other lizards. It stores fat in its chubby tail. So it only has to eat once in a while. Then we have my one of my favorite guys who is a vegetarian, perfectly harmless to human beings, the green iguana. I love, I just, this is one of my favorite guys. And then we have the Komodo dragon, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Big, big creature. And in the back of the book, we have more information about all of the um, different creatures and an author's note that I first ran into uh, a lot of lizards when I did a book on deserts. Then more lizards. I did a book on the rainforest where a lot of lizards live. They live all over the world except Antarctica. Um, and we also learn a little bit about how to protect them because as we know through global warming, their habitats are getting diminished and it's making life more difficult for them. We need to preserve their homes. They wanna live their lives just like you and I do. We also have in this book, books you can and websites you can learn more about lizards and then a glossary. So let's look at some of the art from this book. So this is our leopard our leopard lizard, and you can see by his spots, he's smiling kind of. This lizard does not have 
uh, this is a gecko and it does not have the clinging feet that we're gonna see in a few minutes. Um, but I find him very sweet. He's one of my favorites. So here we have the chameleon. I talked to you about the chameleon's long tongue. It has a sticky thing on the end. So he's like getting this bug for dinner here. You can see it whips out really, really fast. Grabs his dinner, goes home. This is the Tokay gecko. Now this guy is like a superhero. He's got these pads on his feet, little sticky, tiny little suction cups. He is so strong and they are so powerful that he can actually climb straight up a glass wall, let go with all of his feet, but one finger and hold on. Scientists do not even quite know how these superhero geckos are able to get around with these kind of clingy feet. This is one of my favorites, the green uh, basil X. He, he can walk on water. He kind of flaps his feet down and can run on water. Beautiful. These are the real size. So this guy is really kind of big. Now we're getting bigger. We saw before this guy and um, the Gila monster. Now the Gila monster is one of the few lizards with venom. He can bite you. He's got very strong jaws. And if he bites you, he doesn't want to let go at all. So he can hold on to you. He also has venom. It won't kill you, but it's extremely unpleasant. And this is the character I talked about earlier, the green iguana who is a vegetarian. But interesting, they can run really, really fast and they're great swimmers, even though they're rather large. They can be like four feet long, almost as long as you are tall, probably. And now the Komodo Jack, uh, the Komodo lizard. So he's so big, I couldn't fit him on one page, of course. So I had to just do parts of him. There are his legs, his big, strong claws. And he can be dangerous. He you don't want to run into. Yes, see? However, it's very unlikely that you will run into him because he lives in Indonesia. There are none of, he, there are none of him in the United States, and there are really only a few left in the world. In that book also, we have what are called spots, which are little drawings that tell little special things about some of the lizards. So here we have lizards with weird tongues. I talked to you about this guy, the chameleon. Here's a forked tongue. This is a forked tongue, a blue tongue. And here's a guy cleaning his eyes. So that's a kind of a fascinating use of your tongue. You use it as a washcloth. Here's some of the different tails of lizards. And the chameleon has a tail almost like um, a monkey. They can wrap it around a tree. It's very, very strong. These guys have a tail, the blue shrink skink that um, sometimes it will fall off if someone's chasing them like a predator or a bad guy they can like detach their tail and leave it and it kind of flops around and it fools the predator that it's still alive while in the meantime he's escaping and then here's some of the fun feet that we looked at this is the Komodo dragon this is um, parachute a flying um, lizard uh, this is the Toke lizard we looked at earlier. He's got the very, very strong little suction cups on the end of his fingers. And now I'm going to show you how I did the cover. So this was the first cover idea, right? I was going to put three lizards on there, but we thought that maybe we should just have one superstar lizard. So we decided to put this guy on the cover, the chameleon. Um, and this is my first idea. So this is what, you know, the cover sketch I would show my editor would be this. Then we talked about it and eventually I did this. This is the art because the artist does not put the words on there. They just do the art. But this was a suggestion. But they did a better job than I did because they took the art and they put these leaves around it and made it, I think, much more beautiful. So this is the book Lizards at Large. It's published by Holiday House. And we have 21 of our favorite creatures in here. I really grew fond of my little cast of characters. And um, I hope you enjoy it.